Tis the season for reporting, and a new mini guide. How is it already reporting season again? Time to generate those dreaded end of year SEO reports that take hours to create and mere seconds for your client to skim through and toss to the side. We've all been there. But here's the thing it's absolutely necessary. Not only for you and your team to track progress, but to prove value to your clients as well. Reporting for SEO can feel like a time black hole. You have an infinite amount of data that you have to sort through and piece together to tell a story. You know that you saw something, somewhere at some point that proved a strategy worked, but of course, now that you need it you can't find it and now you've been looking for it for an hour and you just want to get back to the SEO part of your job. What if we told you we could help you create reports that matter to your team and your clients in less time with better output? Today we launched our newest brainchild, the mini guide to SEO reporting, our free guide to help you create the most effective SEO reports for your business. Okay, so maybe it's not the most mini mini guide that ever did mini. But in comparison to the beginner's guide to SEO, it's definitely a munchkin. We like to think it's chock full of easy to read chapters and plenty of actionable insights, a few of which we'd like to share with you now. 1. More data, more problems. The idea for the mini guide was born after we noticed a trend in SEO reporting, they're often cobbled together and extremely time intensive. Many SEOs rely on multiple platforms to gather all of the data needed to make recommendations and track progress. So, when they want to report back to their clients, they have to go to all of the different platforms to collect the necessary data. This makes everything 10 times more complicated because many of the platforms use differing jargon and have different data exporting processes, and when it comes time to piece it all together, it's extremely difficult to maintain a consistent tone or a clear story to follow. That leads us right into the first actionable insight, your reports need to be con married. Well, kind of. In reporting, you can't quite ask if a data point brings you joy, but you can ask if a data point is meaningful. You need to ask yourself, your team, and most importantly your client which data points are meaningful to your SEO campaign. Once you nail down the must-haves, stick to them. You can always reassess later, but filling up your report with irrelevant data makes it less appealing to the client and easier for them to gloss over. Plus, narrowing down some of the data you have to report on will allow you to spend more time on SEO and less time on reporting. To get the conversation started with your client, we created a downloadable one sheet with 30 must-ask questions about report for more on this story, visit the news article link.